Good morning! Well, here we are, the beginning of the third week of January. How are your New Year's resolutions coming? Yeah, probably, right? So, let's talk about two things here. Let's talk about weight loss and sales gain. We probably all have a sales quota. I certainly have a goal. I have a very lofty goal of doubling my sales from 2018. Uh, I've been working on a plan for that, and I'm hopefully by this time, because I'm shooting this in early January, by January 21, I hope I'm still on track. Are you? Now, weight gain, not typically not my problem. The average American gains 11 pounds during the holidays, and I think I probably put on about five or six very wonderful <laughs> pounds, which hopefully will come off by the time this thing airs. But everybody seems to have that goal, right? Gyms fill up, and, and all the Jenny Craigs out there seem to get uh, extra registrations for the, at the, the end when, when the holidays are over. But the, what occurred to me about this was there's a real difference between weight, weight loss and sales gain, but there's a lot of similarities too. And one of the things that I thought was, man, you know, there's a huge percentage, and I looked it up, it's 80% of the people who lose weight gain it back. That's how those Jenny Craigs make their money. It's a, it's a constant cycle over and over and over again. You see people go, oh my gosh, that's fantastic. My daughter, Kate, who lost 50 pounds for her wedding, holy cow, she's going to kill me for saying that, has kept it off. She looks phenomenal, and she's doing great. She's an exercise monster. Our Apple Watches are synced, so every time, single time I wake up, it's usually uh, the first tone is, Katie's finished a workout, and I kind of growl at her because <laughs> she's better than me at that. But with the sales growth, the thing about that is it sticks around. And I really want you to, to re-engage with your goals for 2019 because probably you've fallen off a little bit. And I want to remind you that unlike weight loss, which comes back, it's not like you have a, you build up your sales and then you lose 80% of it. In fact, you'll only lose 10 to 15% of it. So if you've fallen off, recommit to your sales activity goals, okay? That's my message for this week. Regardless of what you're doing, uh, you probably have slipped a little bit. Look back over these last few weeks and say, what do I wish I had done differently? Okay, there's my lesson for the week, my tip for the week. Have a great selling week, everybody. We'll talk to you next week.